Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 415. Thalamus. What is the responsibility of thalamus? The responsibility of thalamus is to be a major relay for all ascending sensory information except olfaction. Name some of the thalamic nuclei. Some of the thalamic nuclei includes VPL, which stands for the ventral posterior lateral nucleus, the VPM, which stands for the ventral posterior medial nucleus, the LGN, which stands for the lateral geniculate nucleus, the MGN, which stands for the medial geniculate nucleus, and the VL, which stands for the ventral lateral nucleus. Where does the VPL, also known as the ventral posterior lateral nucleus, gets its input information from? The input information comes from the spinal thalamic and the dorsal columns as well as medial lemniscus. What type of information is received by the VPL? The VPL receives information on pain and temperature. It also receives pressure, touch, vibration, and proprioception information. What is the end destination of the information received by the VPL? The end destination of this information is to get it to the primary somatosensory cortex. Where does the VPM, also known as the ventral posterior medial nucleus, get its input information from? The input information for the VPM comes from the trigeminal and gustatory pathway. What type of information is received by the VPM, also known as the ventral posterior medial nucleus? The VPM receives face sensation and taste information. What is the end destination of the information received by the VPM? The end destination of the information received by the VPM is the primary somatosensory cortex. What is the mnemonics to help you remember the information that is received by the VPM? The mnemonics to help you remember this is just remember that makeup goes on the face and VPM has that M at the end and that stands for makeup so makeup goes on the face. Where does the input information for the lateral geniculate nucleus come from? The input information for the LGN comes from cranial nerve 2, which is the optic nerve. What type of information is received by the lateral geniculate nucleus? The lateral geniculate nucleus from cranial nerve 2 receives vision information. What is the end destination of the information received by the lateral geniculate nucleus? The end destination of the information received by the LGN is to get it to calcarin sulcus. What is the mnemonics to help you remember the type of information that is received by the LGN? To help you remember this, just remember lateral equals light. So because it receives vision information, just remember the lateral geniculate nucleus receives information for the vision. From where does the MGN, also known as the medial geniculate nucleus, get its input information from? The medial geniculate nucleus receives its input information from the superior olive and the inferior colliculus of tectum. What type of information is received by the MGN? The MGN receives hearing information. What is the end destination of the information received by the MGN? The end destination of the information received by the MGN goes to the auditory cortex of the temporal lobe. What is the mnemonics to help you remember the MGN receives hearing information? The mnemonics to help you remember this is just remember that medial equals music. So because medial is music and lateral is light, just remember the medial geniculate nucleus is for hearing and the lateral geniculate nucleus is for vision. Where does the input information for the ventral lateral nucleus come from? The input information for the ventral lateral nucleus, the VL, comes from the basal ganglia. What type of information comes into the ventral lateral nucleus? In the ventral lateral nucleus, motor information comes in. What is the end destination of the information received by the ventral lateral nucleus? The end destination of the information received by the VL is motor cortex. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.